As many of you will know, we are recording this evening. Can I get a some of him in here? And some of him in here, some of him, <laughs> and more of my voice. Basically everything except my guitar. A little bit more vocal in here. I love playing all over Holland. Um, love Amsterdam. We um we had a partisan crowd, you know, uh, and it was chock full. It's a great atmosphere and a great night. I'm glad we chose to do it there. Couldn't have been anywhere else, really. The guys being Dutch too, you know, it's sort of like a, a hometown gig for them almost, you know. So I hope that uh, that comes across in the recording, I'm pretty sure it does. All my friends are drunkards, TV junkies, part-time lunatics and redneck honkies. They run around like spider monkeys, bang their heads against the wall. They get so good. They are collectively known as the Rhythm Chiefs in their own right, and they were a trio who supported me several years ago in Holland. I've wanted to work with them for a long time. Drummer Raphael Schwiderson, a very amazing bass player, Danny Vanethoff, and yeah, Dusty Cigar is just a, a dream to work with. They have this incredible telepathy amongst each other. It's quite amazing to watch. A little, little yellow idol, green and red ones too. Uh, they're burning up the roadside from here to Kalamazoo. Uh, about a hundred million effigies burning across the lane. Like so many heartfelt messages delivered by my hand. Uh, yeah, the thing with a live album is there's less pressure to put completely new material because people want to hear live versions of songs that you've recorded before and toured. But I did, it was important to me to have some completely new material. One by this guy Rudy Lenser and one of his songs, uh, Please Don't Fail Me, which is just beautiful. I won't fail. I mean, we've, we've done it once or twice before, but we had um, two guest singers, uh, Tess and Joel Gerte from Ashtray Nuts, who are famous in Holland. And uh, Love Hurts, an old favorite, every brother song of mine. And uh, it seemed an appropriate one for Tess and I to do it on, and uh, it came out really good. So. One song on there which we've performed many times and I've actually recorded, it's the third album I've put it on, I love the song so much, but I've done three different versions. I did my live solo version of the Amber Hall and I did a studio one out in Mississippi with the picnic sessions, but I wanted to put the band version of uh, Gallo Del Cielo. Well for one thing it's a great platform for Dusty's incredible Tex-Mex playing. <laughs> I love the way the band does it. It's a different approach altogether, you know, so it was important to get that one on. That one came out particularly well, I think. With well, a signal it was given, and the roosters rose together up above the sand. Gallo del Cielo sank a gaff in the Zaro's shiny breast. They were separated quickly, and they rose and fought each other 37 times. And the legend says that everyone agreed that Del Cielo fought the best. It's the old cliche of trying to capture lightning in a bottle, but I think we did. I'm enjoying the vibe.
Thank you.